The other thing you can do would be just slow down the speed. Oh, yeah. So making shorter backswings and follow-throughs. Take speed off and that lowers your launch. Yeah. But so ultimately the loft is the base part. And whenever I see tour players who hit uh, wedge shots that aren't very good, um, I taught a few who are really, really, were really, really bad wedge players. They hit the ball and start to go into the left wrist extension or start to rehinge the club back up really quickly. And amateur golfers in particular who hit the ball far or just spin it too much, that's the first piece of the puzzle is to hit and have some command over your lead wrist extension so it doesn't just look like you're uh, flipping pancakes into the air, like making breakfast this way. Would you feel Tossing like, that probably try to feel like you're longer through that follow Absolutely. through as well? Yeah, that should get you. It would be, uh, I mean, here's the story. So if you don't move your wrists here and just lower the whole club and your arms back down to the ball, you have less loft on the club. Yep. If you come through the ball and you extend your lead wrist as much as you can and you go backwards from there, that isn't really happening to the extreme that you see, but it is starting to happen through the shot. Yeah. So less loft, move the ball back, shorter swing, longer arc follow through, don't extend your lead wrist. Yep. Did you get all that?